So in this phase, the testing phase is really where you perceive the value of, of your prototype, the value of your solution. So testing is about getting customer feedback on your prototype and therefore being able to improve it, to improve its function, to improve its design and to get to better results. So get customer feedback, improve the prototype and improve your business model. That's what's testing all about. Now, testing is absolutely essential to your final product. So please don't take testing for granted and do this very, very thoroughly because then you can really find out what your value proposition to your customer is, what the benefits to your customers are, and that way create the best possible product and have way more success in the marketplace. So set up decent testing to increase, increase your chances of success. Um, let people interact with your prototype and that's how you get feedback through observation or through interviews um, and focus again and again on insights. Now I'll take the two phases, the two last phases together and I'll give you an example of both prototyping and testing. So this is my own example, the game I've made, which is the Playground for Entrepreneurs game. It's a game for entrepreneurial coaches to, uh, uh, to do with their participants, with their aspiring entrepreneurs or entrepreneurship students. Um, and it's really interesting, I find, to take a look at the different prototypes and to see how it has evolved over time. And that's really what the process, what prototyping and testing is all about. So creating something, getting feedback, creating a better version, finding more insights, getting a better version, and every time improving uh, uh, whatever you're doing. So if you take a look at the left uh, uh, lower image, that was really the first designed uh, a prototype that I've had. It wasn't even a game yet. This was more of a canvas. I didn't want to call it canvas really, but it was more of a canvas to, to kind of map out what people needed to think about and how to think about entrepreneurship and for coaches to use with their aspiring entrepreneurs. Now, afterwards, I really felt the need to make it more impactful. So there was a lot of canvas already out there. Customer feedback was okay, but it wasn't really missing a step. I felt it was missing a step in order to make more feedback and really differentiate in the market. So I created the upper right one, and that's the first game. Actually, this looks like the game of the goose. It has like two cycles for each uh, each of the areas. And um, this was a game that I developed like from the first uh, canvas that I've had. Um, it looked nice and colorful, but still it was kind of the game of the goose, like the dice would take you somewhere and that's where, where you needed to do something. And people really, entrepreneurs really wanted something more strategic. This was not something that they could really make decisions and get feedback on their decisions or something like that. So um, after that, I've developed the left one, the upper left one. And the upper left one, uh, you can see that I optimized the space a little bit. So I really got like the four areas together. Um, and then uh, it would be with different uh, questions, different assignments. And right now the dice would help you to kind of figure out where which step that you would go to, but you would define, the entrepreneurs would define which area they needed to go to by themselves. And these kind of strategic decisions would really influence their game. So that's uh, something that we improved there. Actually, in the version that you see it in the upper left corner, we really test played it a lot in order to get to more feedback, to better feedback, to better quality prototype. And from that, we've developed the next prototype and this is the one that we currently have so this is the the online version the tabletopia version um, and basically we still have the four areas it is designed by a designer so it looks a lot better 
the questions have improved, the gameplay, the game mechanics have improved, the dynamics therefore have also improved, and uh, that's the version that we have right now, but it's very similar to the last one that you've seen, uh, just the design has improved. So that is really a testing, prototyping, testing, prototyping, testing, prototyping cycle. And that way you can get to more and more value for your end user or end customer. So that's what's really, uh, that's, that's what it's all about in these last two phases in order to get a very valuable product, very beneficial product for your customer into the market um, and that's the way to, to go about it.